Hello everybody. This is a video presentation presented by Lab Vision Technologies for the student of engineering who are doing either mechanical, civil, electrical, electronics. Because what we are going to discuss in this lecture or in this session is useful as well as compulsory for all the streams. Like if you are a mechanical engineering student, still you are supposed to have a knowledge of KVL which we are going to discuss in this lecture or you are a civil engineering student still you are going to study this basic electrical engineering or basic electrical and electronics engineering so coming to the point as you can see I had written on the board as KVL KVL stands for Kirchhoff's voltage law in previous lectures we had already gone through Kirchhoff's current law Kirchhoff's in the field of electricity had given these two, I should say, uh, laws uh, like that, that uh, after seeing or after analyzing or after going through all these two laws, you will get a confidence of solving any type of circuit. Now, coming to the statement part, as in some university or in some engineering institution, there might be a direct question explain and show us the complete analysis of Kirchhoff's voltage law, Kirchhoff's current law. So we are supposed to write the statement. So we are supposed to write the statement as well as give the analysis or explanation for that particular law. Now KVL, we should see what KVL stands for. It's uh, basically it's Kirchhoff's voltage law. So it will be going to talk about voltage. Voltage which is the potential difference. So if we are going to the statement, statement states that in any circuit or in any loop the sum of potential drops or potential differences will be equal to zero. That states sum of all the voltages should be equal to zero. Now considering a circuit with a battery with an internal resistance with R1 another resistance in series R2 another resistance in series will give a basic idea of uh, what I had uh, written on the board like V is the EMF or the potential difference of this battery small r is the internal resistance of the battery then R1 and R2 are the respective load resistance connected in series for this particular battery. Now what Kirchhoff states that in any loop or in any particular loop sum of all the potential differences should be equal to zero. Just applying the Kirchhoff's voltage law in term of mathematical representation now, uh, one of the important parameter I want to discuss over here is the sign convection. A battery with a larger side will be positive and the battery with a smaller sign will be negative. So using the, those sign convections we will get this plus, this is minus. So battery will impose this positive sign to the resistor R1. Negative sign to the opposite. Again battery will impose positive sign. Negative sign to opposite. Here also battery will impose positive sign and negative sign. Now going for the Kirchhoff's law. Some student may ask the question that V is the EMF or the potential difference of the battery. But when it comes to the case of R1, case of R2, case of a small r, what will be the potential difference? So my dear students you had gone through the Ohm's law. Ohm's law which states that V is equals to I R. I am giving that final statement of Ohm's law. Generally Ohm's law or the law states V is directly proportional to I and R is a constant which appears as a mathematical term after removing this proportionate sign. So V is equals to I R we have value of R, we are considering that current I is flowing through this loop that will give us a good look that 
now this R can be converted into the potential difference, so called potential difference what we are talking about. As we are looking for the statement then uh, we will come to know that uh, V summation is equals to 0. That means potential difference in the loop is equals to 0. Now going into the KVL we will write the equation V if we assume that V due to this battery with EMF V current I is flowing in the circuit so we will write KVL for this particular circuit V as the current is going in upward direction that means positive sign is imposed in the current so we are taking plus V now current is moving towards R1 that will give you plus I into R1 one thing that should be noted over here is that this I entering with the positive sign and exiting with or exits like with negative sign. That means the total value should be negative. Coming to R2 plus into the bracket I multiplied by R2 that means it becomes a potential drop. As why I am asking you that this is a potential drop because entering with a positive sign leaving with a negative sign that means a value with a negative sign is a drop but if a value with a positive sign that may be a raise in the potential so it may be a raise or it may be a drop but in this particular case it is a drop so we will put a negative sign over here after that comes uh, internal resistance of the battery plus minus I R3 is equals to 0. In third case or we should say according to this equation in fourth case why I put negative sign students have a clear understanding of, of that and equal to 0 that I had done nothing new just I implemented this Kirchhoff's voltage law in the mathematical equation format and we get put it equal to 0. Now again we are going to solve it mathematically I R1 minus I R2 minus I R is equals to 0. Should put a bracket like this. V we are taking I as common R1 plus R2 plus R. Now value of I will be V upon R1, R2 and R. Rather than giving you the proof of KVL, I had explained you how will you implement this KVL in a circuit. For proofs and all other details, we will give you another lecture which will be useful for all of you for doing your university exams. But what I had explained in this lecture or we can summarize this lecture like this we had seen how to implement this Kirchhoff's voltage law into a circuit of given problem and uh, the final value of I you can see that V which is the EMF of battery should be known R1, R2 and small r all are known and I is the unknown quantity so we get the analysis like this that we can calculate the value of I using all the given parameter and this will give you a better idea how to implement KVL in your further studies in your calculations in your gate examination and all those things so enjoy the lectures with us have a good day